some crazy way. Like on Deathstone out there. Good morning. <laughs> well, we were hoping to wake up here in nature and have a really beautiful place to show you guys. There's a uh, sea lion, rookery. There's a penguin colony over here. But it has turned out to be a bit of a nightmare. Oh, thanks. It's really early. You can see by how low the sun is there, how early it is. Thanks for the coffee, Emily. You're welcome. But the wind is ridiculous. Ridiculous right now. You can see it in the form of, of dust storms just ripping by. So if I peel back this a bit, maybe you can see over here. And we were on the other side of that building there. There's a camping area over there. And the wind is just coming in like right off the hills. So we decided to try to cover under this building here. In the back past Graham here that this other one camper who's here, they also tried to hide from the wind here. But you could probably see their rig rocking around. It's pretty crazy. And then out there on the ocean, the ocean is just whipped up into a frenzy. And the wind looks like it's going a different direction over there. We wouldn't have had a chance of sleeping if it wasn't for the noise canceling headphones. We got two sets now. As of Christmas, I bought some for Emily for Christmas. I already had some. It's a bit maddening because I don't think we should move, right? We shouldn't move. Um, I think it. I think we probably should. <laughs> I don't There's nowhere to move, babe. Where would you move? If you move anywhere, you're exposed to the wind, and the van could knock over. Well, we could go over to the hike and see how it is over there. We could, but we'd be braving the wind on the way there. I mean, we can't just sit here, right? I think we have to. Look at that wind. So it's kind of a scary situation. Yeah. Uh, I, I can tell from the way that this dust is moving that I think we're doing the best we can because we have the protection of the building on this side and then some gusts of wind are coming from this side, but that's exactly where we're pointing. So when the wind comes at us, we're doing the best we can. When the wind's coming over the hill, the predominant direction, it's hitting this building. And it's just whipping right over the top of the building. But imagine if we were just a little bit that way or a little bit not being covered by this building, it'd be even worse. So I feel like if we drove, you know, it wouldn't be safe. Yeah, this is the strongest wind that we've been in. I mean, you can hear it inside of the van right now. Yeah. And you could hear it last night. Like, it was hard to go to sleep. I couldn't fall asleep until I put on the headphones because it's not just the wind, it's the rocking. And yeah, it's so intense. And I just watched one of our old videos where I was talking about oh the God. wind and how abusive it is. And today is like the worst it's ever been. This is crazy. Yeah, I think we gotta hide here until it subsides. Which is not ideal because we're not even supposed to be here technically because of the pets. But we did register and we were gonna just have them bunker down. But we were hoping to leave early and do the hike and just get out of here. But now it's like, I don't think we can move, honestly, babe. When I was like half asleep trying to go back to sleep after we moved the van, I was thinking about what I would do if the van starts toppling. One time, remember when we both like looked at each other? I jumped to the other side because that's the way the wind's coming. The wind's coming at us from the driver's side. So I jumped onto the driver's side of the bed and I was like sitting there like, oh my God. <laughs> like like my weight was gonna keep us from it. Oh <laughs> yeah, toppling. yeah, put the weight on that side. Yeah. Oh, you think that would work? <laughs> 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 it's worth the shot. <laughs> He's ripping the door open a little bit. I think Graham's scared, huh? <laughs> he doesn't seem scared. <laughs> Seems like he's in attack mode. I met that guy over there. He's from Germany. He said they've been going for four weeks and we've been going for four years, you know, so. Um, but he guy. said, yeah, but he said, oh, I saw you guys move over here 
and we thought we better do that too but yeah i walked around outside and we're definitely in the most protected spot even though we're still getting pushed around like crazy and he and i uh were saying like okay if it dies down in an hour maybe we'll convoy out of here together have a little added security unprecedented for us this is really wild right now so maybe if i go outside here i can show you guys how windy it is believe us that the wind was so bad this morning even when we did record it it's hard to tell when wind you know yeah. it's hard to tell because you can hear it but it's probably not as loud on the camera and you can't really see it that much because it's not like we were rocking 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 it was like just like slight you know it takes a lot for things to rock though and then a big gust would come and just yeah and it's hard to catch the capture that but we met some germans they were really nice they invited us into their van they're going south from montevideo they've been on the road for four weeks and yeah they were really nice they were asking us about the route stuff like that even though we woke up at 6 30 <laughs> so far it's been a great day it's insane that the winds died down like that because we're able to go check this out obviously we're super spoiled at this point from Antarctica. So sea lions, uh, not as exciting as uh, they would have been before Antarctica when we were walking by them, um, babies everywhere. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But this sounds pretty worth it because here we got basically a uh, 100 meter boardwalk here. So might as well check it out. unfortunate there were no sea lions which is making us like rethink this whole trip like was it even worth it to go this far to withstand that wind last night and this morning and there was no sea lions so now we're like what should we do and also Sambrita was pretty upset to be in the van um, when we left and we were only gone for like seven minutes so we're not sure. We're gonna drive over to the penguin place and we'll see. We're gonna assess the situation there. <laughs> You're not allowed to have pets, so that's one thing, but I'm just super tired, it's super windy, the dust is getting in my eye and everything, and it's about a two hour hike, so, ah, we've seen a lot of penguins lately as well, I feel jaded, I, I want to go do it, but I, yeah, I just don't think it's going to happen today. Sambrita doesn't want to be alone. We think that we heard her crying whenever we went to go and see the sea lions. So whenever I heard her, I was like, yeah, this is a bad idea. <laughs> and a two hour hike, if she's going to be alone for two hours. Also, the wind is pretty bad. And if the van gets knocked over while we're not inside of it, 
That's a hundred times worse. We're gonna go back on the road, start driving to the next destination. Yeah, we're going north! We, I feel fortunate enough to survive last night with those stupid wind. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna try and go farther north. Maybe there'll be less wind. Probably not though. But hopefully it'll be at least warmer. It's just that the wind whips, or whips around so much. It's not that you're cold. It's that like your, your ears start to hurt and your skin just starts to hurt because it's getting wrecked by the wind. So anyways, yeah, I'm excited to get out of this wind. <laughs> I just checked the windy app and the wind got up to 52 knots where we were. Looking like it should get better though as we go north. All right, we're at the shower. We are waiting to shower and I'm going to, so far, shower kind of a low score as it's pretty sure it's only a men's room, judging by the urinals. <laughs> and I'm waiting for, we're waiting for someone to leave because I, I have a feeling that there are um, no curtains and it's my room and I don't think there's a few women's room because she also gave me a key which I think is to lock the door which is very nice of her. I'll give you the score once I turn on the shower and we'll see how clean it is. Nice lady though so that was good. It was 300 pesos which is less than a dollar so that's also not bad. I'm gonna give that shower, I think like a seven out of 10. <laughs> it was pretty clean. It was hot. There was nowhere to put your stuff? There, well, there was somewhere, but it was outside of the shower. It was not fancy at all. Not fancy, <laughs> no. Definitely had to wear shoes, which I usually do when we're not in a, in a residence. So now we started driving again, making our way north. And along the way, we found this mirador, this vista, this vista. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is like the lowest spot. It says in the hemispheres, in the western hemisphere and in the south hemisphere. The lowest spot. 107 meters below sea level. I remember there was one in Death Valley that was really low too. Yeah. Okay, so in North and South America, this is the lowest spot. It is a desert, but there's like a town down there. <laughs> wow, yeah, some kind of a plant and a lot of pollution probably just gets stuck down in there. Yeah, it looks like a, a good bit of smog. It says it's about uh, 3,000 square meters, like 30 by 100 mm. kilometers. Oh, huh. it's, it's kilometers squared, yeah. Oh, That's okay. Pretty big. That's pretty big. It's huge down there. So, yeah, it has to be a desert, I guess, or else it be full of water, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Crazy. So it says it's full of fossils and uh, petrified wood. So that's kind of cool, too, because we're not that far from the ocean. It's just right over this hill. So kind of cool, kind of cool little stop here on the way. At this point is this lake is negative 344 feet. Oh, so there is a oh, lake. I see it over there. Nice. Crazy. Cool. Well, we found a spot for the night and just in time for dinner. Well, you know, when we were living on that boat, on that ship, we were getting unlimited food. They had a vegan menu for Emily all the time. That's another thing we're really missing in the van, but check out this vegan feast Emily's got going for us. Quesadillas with the not code cheese. Not cheese, not first time trying it. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's so good. 
not chicken strips. Danny found these avocados that were perfect. So we had to make some fresh guac. And some jalapenos. And jalapenos. Oh, so that's the not cheddar. Look that's at this. I, I want to try just a little piece. So the nacho cheese, it seems like melts a lot better than other vegan cheeses that we've tried. Usually I have to put some water in the pot to make it steam up. I didn't put any water in the pot hmm. and it's like super melted. We've been drinking the not milk for a while mm -hmm. and that is like the best fake milk we've had. Oh, it's perfect consistency. It has like the perfect fattiness of regular milk. It doesn't have the stuff I don't like, which is nice. <laughs> like farmy taste or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and I think these not chicken sticks are new too. These are bomb. Mm -hmm. Look how crunchy those are. Tomorrow we'll keep heading north. If you have any tips for crazy wind, let us know in the comments. I really don't think that'll be our final Patagonian win. If you'd like to help us continue our journey, head over to our Patreon for some extra support. See you soon.